Okay, Hare Krishna. Uh, long, overweighted, overdue introduction to uh, ashram life. Um, ashram itself means shelter, so basically to take shelter. So this is how we're living, this is the living quarters, aka the ashram. Follow me. So this is the entrance of the ashram here. Um, Brahmachari ashram, strictly in the entry for all outsiders, blah, 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 authorized residents only. So luckily enough, um, we've been blessed to uh, be an authorized resident. Let's go. So as we enter here, this is the... Uh, one of the main showers here, so if we take a look in the shower quickly, um, it's just a thing like this, <laughs> I was just about to put it down, um, and then you can go also here, so this is what I use to, to wash, to wash my clothes, um, so yeah, this is basically it, the light should be off as well, this one, uh, so here's the toilet, <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, here's some of the toilets. There's a light behind here. Come. And when you're in here, there's a fan going off because yeah, it can get quite heated in here. Um, there's no toilet roll. Obviously, we use this. And um, you know, the rule, the Brahmachari rule is like you're meant to after you um, after you release down there. Um, after, I don't know what the word is. About. How would, how would you say that? Evacuate? How, after you evacuate, <laughs> you're meant to take a shower each time. Um, I mean, I'm imperfect. I've got irregular bowel movements, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm working on that. But anyways, um, let's go this way, let's go this way. Yeah, so this is just as you come in, this is one of the showers. So let's go. A lot of lockers in there. We, we don't really go in here, but yeah, some, some probably try to in here. You sure? So. I've only been around here once, so this is just kind of like, what's this? This is drinking water here? Oh, this is where you're talking about the hot water. Yeah, hot water is on the ah, right. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So I haven't started drinking my ginger tea yet. Um, I don't feel like I've needed it since I've been out here. I've been quite warm. So yeah, this is where... Yeah, this is where some of the probably just dry their clothes. Um, so yeah, alright, let's, let's go through. way upstairs and by the way I love this place you know why because it's like a maze it's like so like not linear the structure is like there's little place there little place there like you could easily get lost and there's loads of little places to just like this is a pull up bar as well So I vow to myself every time I walk past to do five pull-ups and you know what, slowly but surely uh, my pull-up game is getting stronger. Let's go. Uh, so you see here there's um, a lot of clothes drying so I think each Prabhu has like a certified line that they have. Let's go actually. So. <laughs> so yeah, this is where, you know, I shouldn't touch Pabu's clothes, but um, yeah, this is where some of the Pabu's dried their clothes. I actually slept down there one night, because uh, it's kind of like a free fall and you sleep anywhere, but it was actually, I was quite exposed, because in the morning when I was sleeping in, a lot of the Pabu's see me. So let's go. Okay, so yeah, this is the Tulsi Garden. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Tulsi, explain a bit about Tulsi because you know I, I can't really, I can't really speak. This is Jagannath, by the way. Just explain a bit about Tulsi. Well, the little I know about Tulsi, yeah, that obviously she is represented as a plant here in the material mm -hmm. world, but in the spiritual world she is the uh, how do you call it? the lover of Krishna. Mm. And I've heard she's the one that welcomes you when you go to the spiritual world. And wow. She shows you around, she wow. shows you your service. 
yeah. and she's known to be very merciful, full mm. of compassion, wow. love. And so it's a feminine, and feminine energy. Feminine. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> I like the shah. So yeah, Tulsi, like, I think every temple has like a little Tulsi garden. Um, this is it. And by the way, if you look around, it's kind of like the outside is integrated here, so it's really beautiful. So, all right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's go. So, this is the terrace. This is where we just was, the showers down there. But it's different showers. Yes, Toilet. I know the space here. Go on, show, show down there, show down there. See, everywhere is just like kind of open and like exposed and stuff like that. Uh, this is current. Current one of the Prabhus from the manor from the UK. Taking care of some business. So yeah, let's go, let's go. So yeah, this is the terrace. Um, come. A lot of Prabhus here sleep in the night time. Um, I've stepped up here a few times. Uh, I only got the mosquito net yesterday, as you saw in the video when I went to the gift shop. If you haven't checked that video out, check that out. Um, but yeah, come, come. Let me show you the video. So yeah, that, so, so this, this is actually the temple here. You see the deities. So yeah, in the morning, different kind of place. So you know, all around you've got these like little crevices where you can sit. <laughs> Alright, um, and yeah, over here in the morning is where I do some yoga, I do some nice stretching over here, some nice space. Um, also yeah, this, this bamboo, um, I first realised when I went to Egypt that, um, you know in the west we use scaffolding poles and stuff like that. And when I went to Egypt, I was like, what the hell? I just see pieces of wood everywhere. And I was like, is that even safe? But obviously, if we take a look around, it is. And yeah, um, I've been doing stretching off here. I can confirm that the styles hold my weight. So yeah, sometimes I just stretch, uh, especially after morning sleep. <clears throat> By the way, guys, I've got a really small dotty on. This is the summer edition, the slim fit dotty. Um, just about, you know, covering the knees, which is, I've probably got the shortest dotty in history. But um, anyways, when we find another gift shop that has a nice, good white one, I'm going to buy another one. So, uh, let's look here. So yeah, everywhere is kind of open and exposed. There's a lot of like different apartments here. So a lot of people get in the mercy of, um, yeah, a lot of people get in the mercy of, you know, living close to a temple. Um, but yeah, we, we are right in the city. Um, yeah, right, let's go. So yeah, there's more clothes drying here. There's a lot of Prabhus here, there's so many clothes drying. There's like 100 Brahmacharis here. 100? Mm -hmm. 200 wow. Brahmacharis? 200? Wow. In 2015, there were 200. Oh, wow, 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 wow. that's a lot. I heard there was 100. Then plus there are 200 workers. I heard the Radha Nath Swami lecture from 2015 and he was saying there's 200 Brahmacharis. Yeah. <laughs> I think out of the workers, they also He actually does this only when the camera is on. <laughs> <laughs> do that, do that. Flex it, flex it. Alright, so, so this room. Yes, yeah, so this room, this is where the, um, the clean drinking water is. So yeah, sometimes I just come fill up the tap. Um, this is where Rishi, Rishi sleep. You sleep in here, Rishi? Yeah, I sleep in here. This okay. is where I reside. Yeah, yeah. We left here yesterday. Yeah, you slept yeah. here as well? Yeah. Yeah. Slept the last oh, wow. two nights. We had a lot of really? um, banter. Had a lot of banter, yeah. Sounds deep, good. deep conversations. Yeah. Like. Wow, wow, wow. A couple of <laughs> few mandangas here. 
Mr. Banger. Thank you, Sean. Let's, 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 uh, what side do you hold it on? It depends what you're most comfortable with. If so you're right handed, usually it's side right. So I can't play any instruments, even though I'm quite musically orientated. Um, but the time hasn't come yet, so I'm hoping to in the future sometime to learn the cartels. We're still waiting on Bishal for that one. <laughs> uh, and also, hopefully. He takes you back and teaches you. I need to learn. And also, the Madanga, I think I'll be quite a good Madanga player because I realize a lot of Madanga players have a lot of fire energy in them. Um, so, definitely it's something I could do. But also, I'm mainly attracted to the harmonium, guys, which may be a surprise, but it's, the harmonium is quite like emotional and quite deep. So, um, I have all these elements to me, so I don't know which one will be, you know, but I'd like to learn all of them in the future. But, anyways, let's go. Let's go. So this room I haven't gone in, it says entry for Vaishnava Trainee Academy, so I think this is uh, devotees from outside, something like that. VTA, they do like a course or something like that. Yeah, they, they stay here yeah. and they work outside as well, it's like okay. an 11 months training. Right, 11 months? Yeah. Wow. Little shoe rack. Got like two bins down there, dry waste and wet waste. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know. <laughs> right, cool. Interesting. <laughs> it's important, you know, the little things matter. So, um, so yeah, got a shoe rack. Got my Jordans here, the black Jordans, you know, from the ends. Also, got the Adidas sliders there. But also, if you saw the other video when I went to go um, shopping because I got a blister from the sliders, um, I purchased these. So, you know, I've got a little selection going on. But let's go, you've got to be careful, you've got to mind your head. So, I'm just going to be quiet because I'm probably sleeping here. Um, yeah, so basically this is, the, this is the main part of the ashram, I would say, where it all goes down. So, if you follow me. Uh, there's some more lockers down, down there. And people sleep everywhere here, so uh, sometimes people sleep down there. I'm going to just show the people uh, Ashram life. Everyone is, is burning you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name, Prabhuji? No. What's your name? I'm Sachi Sucharanas. Okay, okay, okay. Trying to serve all these devotees coming from London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are creating such a lively environment by their presence here. We're trying, we're trying, you know, by, by Krishna's mercy. Um, we're, we're attempting to, um, we're aspiring to be, you know, like you guys. Well, that's why we're here. Thank you for coming. We, we request to keep coming like this. Well, 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 With well. more and more nice. sabbaticals from the nice, 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 nice. Prabhuji, you're just taking a nap here? I'm done. Yeah, so Prabhuji, you were just taking a nap. So it's common here. Uh, you know, people just, you know, because everyone's up early, people need to take a nap and just reboot for the daytime. Um, but yeah, okay. I just want to show this quickly. Let me read this out here because <clears throat> this is one of the things that got me when I, when I came here. So, um, obviously we have Prabhupada here. Um, okay, Prabhupada. Okay, all the devotees connected with this Krishna conscious movement must read all the books that have been translated. Shaitanya, Charitamrita, <laughs> Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita and others. Otherwise, after some time, they will simply eat, sleep and fall down from their position. Thus, they will miss the opportunity to attain an eternal blissful life of transcendental pleasure. So when I entered the first entered in um, Ashram life, um, I was told that you know initially when you first come, it's like oh my god, wow, everything's so great, and then slowly things become you know, and you're like wow, like what, what's going on? So in order to like kind of maintain yourself within the movement, you have to keep on learning and exploring because you know, like it says here, you'll just end up just eating, sleeping, and falling down. So to constantly refresh yourself, Prabhupada has got many books. I mean, I myself, um, you know, haven't read much, but um, anyways, we'll get to that. Um, okay, school may be bad, but studying is not bad. It is very good, so we should not give up the habit of studying, especially Bhagavad Gita, Shuma Bhagavatam, and Brahma Sh Sh Samhita? Shamita? Yes, Samhita. I've never heard of that one. Actually, these books are the foundation stone of our movement. Whatever we are, we are is resting on these books. Reading and distributing them, this should be our only motto, Jai. 
So yeah, man, it is a San Kirtan movement, which is like a preaching movement. So uh, fortunate enough for me, um, I'm good at talking, I'm good at preaching, um, I'm good at going out on the streets. Um, but sitting, you know, being stagnant and all the intellectual kind of stuff, like sitting down there reading, it's not my forte, but like I said, it's a San Kirtan movement, so I slide in quite well at that point. <laughs> so we've got some pictures here. Quite far there. Important, we've got a clock here because, you know, um, we need to know uh, what time it is, of course. Uh, obviously, morning program, stuff like that. And uh, go on. You know who, who it is, him? Who's that? So Radhanath Swami. Okay, Jad. So he's like uh, the one who founded this temple. He's founded a lot, also Govardhan Eco Village as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's powerful, yeah. 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 Nice, it's a nice picture. Where was this taken, you know? Uh, this I'm not sure. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, the clock. Also important for Prashad as well to know what type of Prashad is. <laughs> can't, can't miss that Prashad. <laughs> so, um, it's Alvin Prabhu, you probably see him in a few other videos. Prabhu? He's, he's famous. Very well, say very well. Very well. He's busy. Oh, he's busy, so. <laughs> Right, cool. So this is um, this is kind of like uh, the guest lockers because everyone has a locker here. I mean, I could have tidied up my locker in like preparation for this video, but I didn't. So just, you know, Parama Karuna, forgive me if you if you watch this video. <laughs> so it's not the best. You know, I've got a few stuff. Got a few books there. Got a coconut here that we got gifted the other day. Um, just a mixture of like haven't got much really. Um, Let's not show too much. Let's not show too much. <laughs> um, and magically today, this box of mangoes have arrived. And I was saying to the Prabhus earlier that before I came here, I was really asking, like, what kind of fruits are there? I really love fruits, if you know me. And uh, people was like, hey, the mangoes, this and that. And I haven't seen any mangoes on the street. So um, this is like, wow, there's a whole box of mangoes here. So we're going to make some further inquiries on you know, how to obtain some lovely Indian mangoes. Or even Pakistan mangoes, I don't know. Uh, this is my bottle from the UK. Where's this from? From Paper Chase. Shout out Paper Chase. Got it on sale. 750 ml. So yeah, as we go down here, this is the light. Shh. Got a few pebble juice working there. This is the This is my spot over here. My laptop's just charging. This is, you know, um, just got a few videos uploading right now, if we can see here. Back to Godhead number 11, back to Godhead 12, back to Godhead 13. And um, if we go on the iMovie, yeah, man, just got a few back to Godheads, you know, a few ones coming up. Still got the old Vipassana video, still got old Fast video. But yeah, my laptop's just charging here. I'm just gonna leave that while it uploads. My headphones charging. But yeah, where I sit usually, this is my spot in the corner, just nice and away. I mean, everyone else is really probably studying the books and stuff like that. But you know, um, I'm kind of telling myself that this is my service by uh, creating these videos and sharing this this, uh, this movement with the world. So uh, yeah, this is the library. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just down here, we've got another bathroom. This also here is the quiet room. If we take a look at the sign, I am a sensitive Vaishnava. I will not use my phone or set an alarm or use any other device to prevent any disturbance to a devotee's taking rest. So this is the quiet room. As you probably could have told, um, I'm not a quiet guy, so I haven't been in there yet. But Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, really good guy, really solid guy. Okay, Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just quickly show you it. It's quite, it's quite big. So yeah, now I can speak, now I can speak loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's some more toilets. If you have a look at the toilets, 
We have the lights here. I actually got an electric shock from, from one of these the other day. Yeah, so that's there. The fan's not working in that one. And these showers just kind of um, open cubicles. I personally like to shower in private. I don't know if that's... Oh, my days. Left my shorts and t-shirt here. Uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, let's go. Because uh, actually, this is why I shaved this morning. I don't know if you can tell, but... I'm sporting a fresh shave. Um, it's been three days since I last shaved and I realized in a video that I done yesterday that because I recently cut this down, it was looking a bit grisly. So I'm going to start shaving every two days. So here's, and we've got like a back mirror here as well. So you can really check the Sheikah. Um, for me, that's not accurate enough. I've still got my personal mirror. But yeah, it's good to catch the different angles and stuff like that. I'm looking really young and fresh at the moment. So yeah, let's go.